everyone. Um, I, want, I was going to do some pumpkins today, and um, I thought, well, why not? Why not make a video? And then I realized, oh god, I don't have any makeup on. My hair's not done. But <laughs> I thought, oh, who really cares, right? I mean, we're playing in clay. I usually have clay in my hair. Um, I don't know. As soon as I start working in clay, I start itching, and then I have it in my hair, my face, and you know. <laughs> But anyway, so here, oh, so here's the little pumpkin. You can see it. Um, yeah, just so I make, I used to make, I make real tall ones, real short ones, all different sizes. A little hollow at the bottom. So, I mean, they're, I mean, they really don't, ugh, too light. There we go. They're really just really easy to make. So I thought, what the heck, I'll make a little short video. So, set that down here. You don't want to look at me anymore. <laughs> I'll show you. So what I did was, you can see, um, I had this reclaimed bag of clay. It's all yucky. So I thought rather than throw with it, I'd make something hand built. Um, it's easy to hand build with reclaimed clay than it is. Um, yeah, then I mean it's it's easier to throw on the wheel with regular clay right out of the bag than reclaimed clay. So anyway, so I made a bunch of um, balls here. All different sizes and I thought I'd use up this whole bag and um, I'm gonna try I'm probably gonna try and give some of these away I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna hide them maybe around the community I thought that'd be fun so I have to announce that but I have to decide when I'm gonna do that I'm actually going out of town next week uh, I'm going to Florida yay I haven't been there in many years so anyway okay enough jabbering so there's my ball. So the first thing I'm going to do is start pinching around the outside like that. And that, that creates your stem. Let me point that down a little bit so you can see better. So you take it's easier to go like that with both hands. See, and you just pinch it like that. And see what that does? It creates a nice little stem. And you can even, you know, poke some circles in the top. You don't want them to look too perfect. The pumpkins aren't perfect. There you go. You can make a long stem. See? Short stem. Whatever you like. Okay. And then you got to decide what size pumpkin you want. Do you want a, a real? Let's make a, let's make a short, short fat one. There we go. I just bought some like this at the farmer's market last week. And then I just use an old paintbrush and use the, the stem of that. And I bring that. And if it, oh, I got something in there. What the heck? Ah, there we go. And if it sticks a little, you can dip it in uh, cornstarch. I just had to keep a tub of cornstarch. And so I just dip the brush, the end in there like that. And then. And then that doesn't stick anymore. Now I like my grooves nice and deep. I don't know. I like them really accentuated. There we go. Oh, jeez, I'm not on. I'm going to do some more so if you didn't see that. Okay, so you see I've got the grooves in there. And I'm just going to take a sponge and just kind of smooth them out a little bit. Got to make sure I stay in the picture, don't I? There we go. All right. Now, I got the end of an old toothbrush. I'm going to dip it in water. And then I'm going to put it in the bottom of the pumpkin, just very gently. Just holding on gently on the side and just kind of swirl it. Gosh darn, I keep getting out of the picture. Okay, so I put the 
up inside the pumpkin, just swirled it around a little bit, just to um, hollow it out a little bit. That helps it dry out a little bit. Take my sponge. There we go. Sponge it off a little bit. Okay, so touch up the outside. Okay, so now we got our shape. And now I'm going to put just little stem marks. Make it look a little bit more rustic. There you go. So there he is, the little guy. So see, he's got the hole in the bottom. All right, I'll put him over here with this little guy. Let's get a let's get a big one. Okay. This one I think is going to be a taller one. Let's smooth him out a little bit. He's going to be a big one. Big and tall guy. Okay. There we go. Let's Kind of round off the bottom a little bit. We don't want it. We don't want too square of a pumpkin. Let's bring this back a little bit. Up oh, there we go. Sorry about being so shaky. Okay. All right. So let's bring this squeeze. So squeezing this together. I think I'm going to make this one a longer stem. Look at that. That's, that's a longer stem, isn't it? And then I'll curve him over um, when we get to the end. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put the, the marks in. I'm just going to rock this back and forth. Like I said, I can dip it in, dip it in a little bit of a cornstarch if it starts sticking. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take my. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the toothbrush, dip it in water, put it in the bottom of that guy, and just gently swirl it around us a little bit. There we go. Just enough to get a hole up in there, just to help it dry out a little bit. You don't. You don't have to put a hole in the bottom if you don't want to, but um, it helps them dry a little faster because. Um, it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to dry something that thick and then if you put it in your kiln with moisture in it, as you know, it will explode. So, So there he is. And I'm going to put the, some stem marks in. There we go. I think I'll... Maybe I'm gonna put a little, a couple little stem marks there. And I'll just kind of curl that over like that. And there he is. So 
He's going over here with all these other guys. Let's do another one. All right. This one's going to be, well, we'll just make this one kind of round. Squish the stem up. This would be a good um, project for kids, too. Sometimes I teach um, preschool kids. But this year, with the crazy virus going around, um, we haven't done any of that. Which is a shame. I'm hoping next year will be more back to normal, huh? This year's been uh, crazy, just crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's put some stem marks in here or some, I don't know what you would call these. These aren't stem marks, these are just pumpkin grooves. It's a groovy pumpkin. just going to smooth these down a little bit. Get my sponge a little wetter. I got my sponge over here. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, now we're going to take the end of the toothbrush again. Just wet it down a little bit. Kind of just gently work it in there. And then Swirl it around just, just a little bit to widen that. There you go. These are so easy to make and they're so fun. I love pumpkins. I like anything pumpkin. I, I just say I just bought a pumpkin pie from Frisch's. Oh, it's so good. And I like to make pumpkin bread and. Now I'm just going to make some, make my stem marks. This is kind of a long stem too. There we go. I think I'll leave that kind of up. There we go. There's another one. So you can see the stem marks. You can play with these a little bit and I like really accentuated uh, ribs or really gives it character too. Yeah, how cute is that? And then what I'll do to glaze them is I have um, Rusty Orange by... Hmm. I think that's... Oh, no? I think it's by Amico. Anyway, I'll dip them. It's a gorgeous glaze. I wish I, I have to think of what that is. Oh, it's by Western. That's what it is, by Western. It's called Rusty Orange. It's gorgeous. Okay. Quit talking, Lisa, and make some more, right? Okay. Let's do, let's do a really short and fat one. How about that? I love them all different sizes. There we go. Okay, we're gonna make a sound of a short, short stem. I think. Two. We'll put a couple little design marks in here, and you can just leave the little clay boogers on there too. It just all adds character, I think. Okay, so let's take this. And just start rolling from the bottom. I gotta move this back a little bit. There you go. Now we can 
see a little, a little better. Okay, so I just roll from the bottom around to the top. See that? And then it's sticking a little bit, but not, not too bad. So let's dip it in, dip it in some cornstarch. There we go. I love using cornstarch for hand building. You can use it with your stamps, and it stops uh, stops the stamps from sticking. And it burns right out in the kiln too. So. Smooth that out a little bit. Just put your finger in each groove and bring it towards the center. There we go. So, all right, we got. I'm just going to kind of put my finger in there and accentuate these a little bit. There we go. See, they are really okay. Now it's getting a little sloppy, but. That's the way I work. I'm always make a mess, but then I then I clean up. Cause you don't want clay everywhere. I actually my studio is in my it's part of my house, so um, you gotta make sure you keep it really clean because clay dust is toxic, and so is the glaze the glaze dust. So you have to make sure you're always clean and especially. Not not just if it's in your house, but um, even if you have your own studio, you should always keep it really clean. No canvas. Um, I, this is actually um, hardybacker board here, which I usually don't work on. Usually I just work on my birch. If you can see the, I usually work on this birch here. <clears throat> but um, this clay was so wet, I decided to put a piece of hardybacker down. That helped dry it out. But when you're hand building, you gotta be kind of careful that it doesn't dry out too fast. Because then when you go to bend it, it'll crack. And you don't want it to do that. So, okay. So there's a little short, a little short and fat one. Isn't he cute? And I like, and they're kind of heavy, and I like that. I like some weight to them. So, alrighty, let's do one more. Let's do another tall one. How about that? How about a really tall one? This will be tall and skinny. Okay. Yeah, how about that? <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, September so we're getting close to close to Halloween and definitely in pumpkin season huh I always hate to see the end of summer but I do love do love the fall too okay so we got started here let's um let's put the ribs in there So we 
just work those in there and then take my sponge just kind of smooth them out yeah usually I'm teaching all year um, I teach two three days a week at Dunham Recreation Center we have a web page um, a Facebook web page Dunham Recreation Center uh, pottery group if you'd like to see I post videos on there and stuff um, I don't post my own how-to videos on there though. I don't know I guess I could but um, so okay so I'm not going to use this really fat one to go up the center of this because I think it might stretch it out too much so I'm just going to use the end of this other pink brush and just kind of put it up there and just wiggle it around a little bit smooth it out okay yeah let's kind of accentuate these ribs a little bit more I know I make a mess, don't I? Yeah. I don't know. I like working with I don't know with water. I smooth them down. It is messier, but like I said, don't worry about your little fingerprints and stuff on here because it just adds extra texture to the pumpkin. Um, okay, so let's put um, some little stem marks in there. This is a fun, fun project. Anybody can do this. You can, you can do this with air dry clay too. You don't have to use regular clay. You can use air dry clay and then um, bake it in the oven, and use acrylic paint on it. So that that works too, or even polymer clay, I guess. Really. I mean, so make that a little bit more accentuated. Okay. So there's that guy. I think uh, maybe I'll tilt this over a little bit. We don't want it too perfect, right? There's the hole in the bottom. Well, let's kind of round off the bottom a little bit here. There we go. You don't want to round them off too much though because you want them to be able to stand up pretty well. So there's that one. Let's bring all these guys back in. We get the tall one, and we got this guy. Whoops, sorry to get you guys. And we got this one here. This was the really short and a little bit stockier one. And then this one, it's like a little family. Ah, he fell over. <laughs> That's okay. He didn't. We can't hurt him, really. There you go. So what do you think? If you guys um, want to like my... I've started this YouTube channel. If you want to like it and maybe share the videos, that would really help. Um, and if you want to subscribe, then... Um, I don't do a lot of videos, so you won't be, like, hounded with them. But um, it would help uh, my channel. And um, if there's any videos you'd like me to do... Um, you can check out my Instagram page at Wild Acorns Pottery. I have a Facebook page, Wild Acorns Pottery. And, you know, you can see some of the things I do on there that some of the pottery, type of pottery I make. And if you'd like to see how I make it, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'd love to share, um, you know, what I know. I don't know a whole lot, but you know. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, so... There we go. Oh, that's, that's a cute little guy. I'm really liking him. All right. Well, that is it for today. Like I said, if you see any other um, um, thing, anything else you'd like me to, to make, help you show you how to make, and um, anything you think I could do better, <laughs> uh, constructive criticism is always accepted. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, 
It's been fun and have a great day. Thanks so much.